Hello everyone, it is Safiri Lovery with Safiri is by Design. Today I'm here with one of my quarterly charity projects for the homeless. I am making first aid kits. So every year I try to do some type of donation over to one of the local food shelters. Actually, it's a soup kitchen where the homeless can come in to have a hot meal. And so on their way out of the door, I like to have something for them to kind of grab and go and take with them. Most of the time, they are living some type of nomadic lifestyle where they are traveling here and there, traveling to different places. And so it's important for them to have something compact that they can tote around with them from place to place and not be weighed down too much. So I got a few items from Amazon, Timu, and the Dollar Tree. Just basically first aid type of items that you would normally see in a first aid kit. So I have been saving these type of containers um, after they're used. I just kind of clean them and wash them and save them for projects such as this. So I'm going to turn these into nice little convenient first aid kits. So let's get started. So with this particular package of deli meat, I didn't necessarily have to clean the container per se because when you purchase the meat, it does come in a little plastic wrapper. And so um, I just took the meat out immediately and put the container to the side. And there is a little sticker on here that comes right off. It's just kind of on with a little piece of glue. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Now there is a barcoded kind of expiration date here that I'm gonna take some nail polish remover and I'm gonna take that date off. I was able to find some little first aid stickers on the Amazon website. So I'm just gonna take one of these stickers and place it on top just so they know that this is a first aid kit. They can see through the package, but I just want them to know this is indeed first aid. Got the sticker on, so now it's time to start filling in some of the first aid items. I'm gonna put in some of the bandage wrap. I got a large package of bandage wrap. I believe this was probably about $10 off the Timu website. I'm gonna put one of those in each kit. I'm gonna put in one gauze pad, some triple antibiotic ointment. Now, all of these kits are not gonna be created the same or uniform. Some kits are gonna have more in them than others. One large Band-Aid, alcohol pads. Medical tape. And I thought about putting in some little tiny packages of Tylenol, but I'm not sure how that would go over with the shelter if they would consider that to be drugs of any sort. So I'm not sure about putting that in. Cute little pair of scissors. So I have to take the larger roll of medical tape out because it wouldn't close for the lid if I put in a smaller roll. And I think this is a cute little way to package a first aid kit and it doesn't cost very much. So I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing with the dog food bowls. I'm just gonna take off the wrapping. Put a little sticker on top of the lid. So y'all, I decided to cut this particular sticker down because this um, top of this has this little ridge here, so it's hard for that sticker to go over it. So I just kind of cut the sticker to go inside of the little hole there. Pretty much doing the same principle here, except for I'm just gonna put most of the smaller items in these particular containers. So this is how the second one turned out. It's a little bit more compact. So overall, I think these first aid kits turned out pretty nifty. I plan to do between 75 and 100 of these before I deliver them over. It's a relatively simple project to do. And it's something that I feel good about doing. Not only is it helping to recycle, but it's also helping to give over to those in need. Thank you all so much for watching. Hello to the new subscribers, and I will see you on the next video.